my name is Kim and this is my first YouTube video so welcome to my channel yeah I'm super excited to do this it's kind of completely out of my out of my shell or out of my box okay one thing is that I'm really bad with phrases so you'll see that but um yeah I'm like not used to you know this is out of the box oh my god okay this is just not it for me you know like I'm not used to, especially talking to a camera which I don't know where to look I'm always looking at myself but then I also have to look at the lens so that in itself is pretty you know difficult um I also don't know how I feel about talking to a camera but I'm so open to it you know um and yeah I mean I'm gonna have many more videos hopefully most likely <laughs> and don't know what I'm gonna do yet in those, but stay tuned. Um, okay, so my first video is basically going to be a video of me recreating this look right here. Um, and Okay, so quick little pause. My bad for that choppy introduction. I completely forgot to include some more information in this intro. Um, but we're gonna add it here real quick. So the inspo for this dress came from the supermodel I showed previously named Giselle. Many people may also recognize this dress because Saweetie recreated it not too long ago. But I decided to do this as a fun project for my 25th birthday. I did change it up a little bit so it would have more meaning to me and my life, but you'll see that later on. But I'm just going to give you a little bit of insight into the steps, um, the behind the scenes, you know, take you with, um, take you with me when I'm taking these photos, um, when I'm making the dress, what I use to make the dress, and yeah, everything you would possibly need in order to recreate this if you ever do. Okay, hey, I'm back again. So first you wanna buy all your materials. I got everything I needed through Amazon for about $30. I do have a Polaroid, but I have the basic one and those Polaroid sizes were just too small for me. So I followed another approach and I printed my pictures out instead through Walgreens. And that in itself was about, if not less than $20. Regardless, I went ahead and linked it all in the bio for you. Just wanted to clarify why a Polaroid camera was not in my Amazon cart. Um, also, quick side note, I actually do recommend using glossy printed pictures over an actual Polaroid picture because I've heard that it is a lot harder to hole punch a Polaroid photo as opposed to a glossy paper. And let me just tell you, it was not a walk in the park either. Okay, step two. Take the pictures you want on your dress through your phone. At first, you can tell I was feeling this green type of vibe, um, especially since it is my favorite color, but I got that blazer from Zara, I believe, but not completely sure. Regardless, you'll soon see that my vision actually does end up changing. Um, okay, so just wanted to give everyone a little bit of an update. Um, I took pictures for this Polaroid dress I'm making, but I eventually thought, okay, maybe I can do something different. So this idea literally came to me while I was taking the pictures, and I like this idea a lot more, so I'm going with this idea. Instead of the pictures that you saw me posing for, um, a couple seconds ago, I'm actually going to have, well, I'm going to print out 25 pictures that I took on my previous birthdays, and I'm using those 25 pictures to create this dress for my 25th birthday. 
I thought I like that connection a lot more and the fact that it was like you know my other birthday so it's like making a full circle um, so right now we're in Target I was going to order it online but I don't have that like I can't wait for them to ship it to my house so I have to go in there and hopefully they don't take that long printing out my pictures um, so I might you know go buy a couple things you know you can't leave Target empty-handed it's a horrible but yeah I just wanted to update you guys that's what we're doing right now so yeah Okay, so like I said before, I did print these pictures in CVS, but first I had a little bit of editing to do. I started off by using Viesco, hopefully I'm not butchering the name, but the app logo is on the screen to the right if you need it. I used this application to edit all of my photos the same and give it that, you know, vintage Polaroid-esque aesthetic. And then I used another app, which I actually forgot the name of, but... I'm sure if you google it something like this will come up. This app just basically turned my edited photos into digitalized polaroids. And now what you see on the screen is Canva which I use to layer out my pictures and this is actually what will be printed at CVS. So originally I had all the four photos on one page at each corner but the demo CVS showed me cut off some of the photos which is why I left empty spaces on the top of the page instead so be cautious of that depending on where or what you use to print these images it may or may not cut off some of your photos um, but other than that it was super easy to upload the images especially on Canva and I ended up printing seven pages of 8x10 glossy paper each page having four photos with the exception of the last page only having one but that was my mistake i actually recommend filling up the last page with three additional photos even though you might not need them just in case plus you're already paying for it so we might as well get your money's worth so the next step is simple it's just simply cutting up all the pictures as precisely as you can if you have a paper cutter or trimmer, I recommend using one of those, but I didn't. I just used a safety scissor. Regardless, it doesn't matter if the cuts aren't perfect, you honestly won't even be able to notice it once the dress is on you. I then layered out my pictures and placed them in the order that I would like them to be connected and started hole punching. Now this was definitely the tricky part for me. I show you how to place the eyelets on the hole puncher because it took me a minute to figure out the correct way to do it. The section specifically was filled with lots of trial and error for me. You can see in one example here, I placed eyelets on both sides based on other YouTube videos I saw and eventually came to realize that only one eyelet was needed. This might have been only a me issue but you know, just in case I'm here to make the mistakes for you and I cannot stress this enough please 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 do not put the eyelets on both sides as that will cause a huge inconvenience when you are connecting the photos with the rings okay now this is one of the last steps and let me tell you you have to be prepared for the cuts that come along with this step Attaching rings is very tricky in the beginning because you have to figure out the correct direction to place the ring when putting it through the eyelet. So for this step, the method I followed was opening the rings with the scissor. I didn't want to break a nail, so that was the most effective option with the least amount of cuts. And I did that for all of the pictures except for the bottom two rows. The bottom two rows, I didn't connect the pictures with the center rings because I wanted to give it kind of a tennis skirt vibe. But yeah, you need lots of patience for this step, but in the end, promise it'll be worth it. So this is the final product. I love how it came out and it only took 3 days to complete the whole process. I 
I did add ribbons which was included in my Amazon cart to the top and middle edges of my dress so I can tie it and it can hold the dress up but yeah please don't mind my nails I def got them done the day after and now for the fun part So yeah, I hope you enjoy and don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. <laughs> also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I have Twitter, but I'm barely on it. And that's it. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you know, this is my thing, my handle. Um, I'll put it down in the description as well, but yeah, just keep up keep up not with the kardashians but still a kim so stay tuned all that nice shabazz it's a word but not the word i needed anyway Really <laughs> I don't know what song this is, but it's not me, but shout out. Oh, wait, I can zoom in. Oh, no. No, I can't. Hi. Say hi, give your social, your credit card number. <laughs> Tried.